Ladies and gentlemen, today I will show you all of the 2023 C8 Corvette Stingray must-have options. and welcome back to Brink of Speed. I'm so happy to have you on the channel today. Thank you so much for smashing that play button and taking time out of your day to join me on this video. Now, real quick, before we get into the video, thank you to my thumbs up squad for already smashing that thumbs up button. I hugely appreciate it. If you're new to the channel and if you don't wanna miss a single one of these videos, make sure to smash that red subscribe button and the bell for notifications when new videos are uploaded. Also, ladies and gentlemen, you, the wonderful Brink of Speed family, have helped me hit 50,000 subscribers. Thank you so much to each and every one of you. I, I wanted to make this uh, thank you very quick, but I also wanna let you guys know to put down in the comments below what you think I should give away for the 50,000 subscriber prize. I really wanna give something special away and it needs to be something universal that will either work on multiple generations of vets or not even for a vet, just something cool that each and every one of you would really be happy with. So I usually do this type of video right when the new model of the C8 comes out. The reason why I am late to the game on this particular video is because I wanted to see what was gonna happen with the 2023 model. I wanted to see how long it was gonna take for things to be straightened out, constraints, things like that. And I also was waiting for the actual build and price to come up with proper pricing. And then I wanted to really think things over before I came to you guys with a must have video. So today's the day. Today is the day when I will go over all the must haves and I'm gonna go over options that aren't must haves, but for the brink of speed build, they would be must haves. So you guys will get to pick and choose what you think are truly must-haves and what you think are not. Either way though, I've put together two builds, number one, a coupe, number two, a convertible, and they're both priced pretty darn reasonable for all that I've put on them. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so first things first, as usual, we're gonna go ahead and check that 2LT box and there's multiple reasons why I check that. And I will explain why you're gonna to wanna to spend the extra $7,300 from a 1LT to a 2LT, and I'll explain it very quickly. Number one, front cameras. Number two, side mirror alerts. Number three, and this is my favorite option, rear view camera mirror. Number four, heated and cooled seats. Number five, heads up display. Number six, PDR. And if that's not enough, there are more, but those are the top reasons why I would always, always choose 2LT. Now, next we're gonna take a look at wheels. Now, obviously my wheels are totally different, but there's brand new 20 spoke wheels for the all new 2023 C8. And you're seeing them on the screen right now. That is the second option that I would highly recommend choosing. It's $995 and worth every penny in my book. Also, you'll see that my calipers are painted. Check that out, they're red. So choose whatever color you want. You can get edge red, bright red, and yellow. And those are gonna run you $700, $695. Now, the next must have is the new Stealth interior. Now, if you look at this interior here, 
this is a shiny it's not super shiny but it is like a shinier metal and the stealth like you're seeing on the screen now is dark and very very good looking and that's going to run you 595. also you know i stuck with a black seat belt because it matches the black and red interior as you can see on my car but most other interiors are going to call for a, for a seat belt color change and i think that is a must-have because it really makes the interior pop when you have a different color seat belt than the interior of your car a lot of times i try and match that and other people do with the color of the calipers so if you have red calipers get red seat belts unless you have red seats already like i do and those are going to run you 495 500 bucks now the next option you guys know i always say is a must have is the performance exhaust obviously mine is an aftermarket exhaust that's really really cool very loud but all you have to do nowadays is get the performance exhaust for 1195 and then choose the black exhaust tips like you're seeing on the screen now and they are bigger than the normal chromish tips that they that the c8 comes with plus they're louder and stay tuned i'm going to do a video of a comparison between the two that way you guys can check that out and see how much louder they are but for a total of $1,600, to me, it's a no-brainer to get a factory exhaust with a factory warranty, not have to worry about any check engine lights for $1,600 instead of buying an aftermarket exhaust, having to worry about those check engine lights and it not have the factory warrant. The next must-have are the carbon flash mirrors. And as you can see, I picked the carbon flash mirrors and the carbon flash rear spoiler. Now, you're gonna see on my options that I picked for this car, this build, the actual low profile rear spoiler, and you're seeing that on the screen right now. So that is gonna be $595 along with the $195 to make sure that it's carbon flash along with the mirrors. So for $800, you're getting the Z51 front lip spoiler the carbon flash mirrors and the carbon flash low profile spoiler in the rear my next must have because it's so dirt cheap instead of getting that c8 logo they now have a dark stealth c8 logo for 125 dollars and to me that is a no-brainer it is a good looking option and this is one of those where 125 bucks you might as well throw it on there this is an eighty thousand dollar car you'll see when i get finished what the total cost is now second to last is the front lift normally i talk about wanting everyone to get magnetic ride and i'm going to go over that here in a second right now i'm going to highly recommend getting front lift especially because you're getting that z51 front spoiler or chin spoiler and you're going to need the extra clearance to make certain that you don't scrape that thing and i'm telling you right now unless you live in a completely flat area even dallas is flat but there are a lot of areas where i have to raise that front end up the two inches to make sure that i don't scrape and it just comes in handy i hate it that it went up in price but i still feel like it's worth every penny that they are asking for it just because of the fact that it's going to save that front end it's going to save the underside of your car for the length period of time that you have it plus as you know it has a thousand locations that it remembers so all you have to do is press it it will memorize exactly where that location is and raise every single time and lower after you go over it and that front lift has gone up to 2595 which basically is $2,600. Like I said, I don't like the price that they put it up to, but it's still worth it in my humble opinion. Now, last but not least, this is something that I've been saying you should get since the 2021 model, and that is a painted engine cover. Now, I don't really recommend getting the engine appearance package. That's pretty expensive, and it doesn't really do that great of a job of lighting up the engine bay. But I do recommend, instead of getting the plain gray looking engine cover, 
to get the red one or the silver one. It is $525 and it's just gonna set your engine apart. What's gonna happen is if you just get the plain old gray one and you come back to your engine bay like this, you're gonna look in and you're not gonna see anything that's worth looking at. But when you have a colorful engine cover in there, this is what you see when you get to your engine bay and it really makes you proud to show off that engine cover in the back of your brand new Stingray. So why didn't I tell you to get Mag Ride? Why didn't I tell you to get Z51? Let me go over that real briefly because I know these questions are gonna be put in the comments down below. And then I'll tell you the total price of this and then I will let you know what I did with the convertible because this is the coupe build. So the reason why I did not go with Mag Ride is because right now it's still on a constraint. And I want you, ladies and gentlemen, to be able to get your C8 as fast as possible. And if you're having to wait for something that's on constraint, then it's going to frustrate you big time. And honestly, unless you get Z51, there is no need for that mag ride unless you are just desperate to have the smoothest ride, period. Now, if you get Z51, mag ride is definitely a must and it's not on constraint if you get z51 so that problem is solved but 99.9% .9 of people that buy this car do not need z51 will it help your resale value of course it will but it's also sixty four hundred dollars to get it nowadays and a lot of people don't want to spend that money just to say that they have Z51 when they're never gonna use it, they're never gonna take their car to the track. So that's why I didn't tell you to get Mag Ride. If you still wanna get it, obviously get it. You'll wait a little bit longer than your average C8 delivery is gonna take. It's already gonna take a long time once you order the car, but it's gonna take even longer if you check that box for magnetic ride. With that said, let me tell you what the total price was on this build. And real quick, put it down in the comments below to see if you can guess what it was. But the total price was $81,300. Now you might think that that's a lot, and it is a lot, don't get me wrong, but here's the deal. I built this car right here in 2020 for $76,300. It is not as loaded up as the car that I currently built for you guys, besides the fact that it does have Z51 and Mag Ride. But it didn't have aftermarket wheels, it didn't have any interior extras, it did not have the engine cover. I didn't have to pay for the exhaust because it already comes with Z51. I did get 2LT, but 76.3 is what that car came up to. I just recently rebuilt that car with new pricing and it is now almost $85,000. Yes, you heard me correctly. It's almost $9,000 more than that was in 2020. So I feel like to get the car that I just built for you guys for just over $81,000 is in my opinion, an excellent deal. And it's a pretty darn good build if you ask me. Now, I will make the convertible very quick. The convertible build is easy. You're obviously not gonna get the engine bay cover. You're gonna get everything else. And for some reason, 2LT on a convertible is $6,800 instead of 7,300. So it's a little bit less by $500. And your total build out for a convertible, just like I showed you on the coupe, is 87,775. So not bad, ladies and gentlemen. In my opinion, both of these cars are very reasonable for what you're getting, especially because the base price of the C8 has come up $5,600 since it was introduced in 2020. So with that in mind, if you would have built these same cars in 2020, your price would have been like 7,500 for this car, and it would have been around 82,000 for the convertible. So ladies and gentlemen, that's really gonna do it. Keep in mind before you leave a comment that this is just my opinion. I don't state this as fact. It's just there to help you guys. I make these videos 
to help you guys be able to figure out exactly what you should probably do to your C8. You know, there's a lot of people out there that already know and have already built fantastic C8s. They don't need my help at all. But there's a lot of you out there who constantly want to know what my opinion is and that's what I'm giving you here. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. Also, please do me a favor, follow me on all social medias. I'm really trying to grow Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and I'm probably gonna start a TikTok, but all three of those are at Brink of Speed, very easy to follow. And ladies and gentlemen, again, leave in the comments down below what you'd like to see on the channel as a 50,000 subscriber giveaway. I hope each and every one of you have a wonderful rest of your day and we'll see you guys out on the road.